I think of all the, the wonders that we chose, my favourite became the one that I thought might be the least interesting at the start of the series. But of all the worlds out there, this one, Saturn's moon Titan, is unique because of that. That is an atmosphere. Titan has the most Earth-like atmosphere in the entire solar system. A thick blue line, rich in nitrogen and containing methane. It's minus 180 Celsius. So it's, it, in a sense, it's like a primordial Earth in deep freeze. You'd think nothing much was happening, but when we landed on it with the Huygens probe a few years ago, we found this intriguing world. We were filmed in, in Alaska to, to look, to talk about the similarities between Titan and, and, and Earth. And you could imagine, you could just sit there and in your mind's eye imagine being stood on the surface of Titan. This is the Matanuska Glacier in Alaska. It really is one of the most astonishing places I've ever seen. Now, this whole landscape is testament to the erosive power of this stuff, this mixture of ice and rock as it rolls down this valley over hundreds of thousands of years and creates this astonishing landscape. But the reason it can do that is because of the delicate balance of the Earth's atmosphere. See, our planet is just at the right temperature and pressure to allow water to exist as solid, as liquid, and as gas as vapour in the clouds. And so the sun can heat up the oceans and it can move the water over to the top of the mountains. It can fall as rain, turn to ice, become a glacier, and then sweep down the valley to sculpt this astonishing landscape. Just as our atmosphere allows all this to exist, the atmosphere of Titan is the perfect temperature and pressure to allow something to exist that has never been seen before on a world beyond Earth. This is a picture taken of the South Pole of Titan by Cassini in June 2005, and it's subsequently become one of the most important and fascinating pictures in the history of space exploration. The interesting thing is this black blob here. Now this fascinated the Cassini scientists, but the, the explanation as to what that is had to wait just over a year till July 2006 when this picture was taken. And it's a radar image, this time of the North Pole of Titan. And you see, again, these huge black areas. But black, in this case, means that the radar waves that bounced onto them didn't come back, so they're completely black. And there's only one really good explanation for that. That is that they're incredibly flat surfaces. In fact, they're surfaces of liquid. So this picture combined with this picture means that this is the first observation of a liquid, a lake, on the surface of a body other than the Earth in the solar system. These lakes, of course, cannot be lakes of liquid water because the surface temperature on Titan is minus 180 degrees Celsius. And at those temperatures, water is frozen as hard as steel. So, if these are not lakes of water, then what are they? 